Hi everybody, this is Summer, lactation consultant here with Done Naturally. Thanks for joining. Today we are going to be talking about the American Academy of Pediatrics and their newly updated recommendation for breastfeeding and breast milk feeding. This was updated in June of 2022 and it had not been updated since 2012, so 10 years before they had made a new update. Here's what I wanna chat about. I wanna chat about the response. Uh, there have been people who have been just overjoyed by the new recommendation and others who have been frustrated or feeling an undue amount of pressure from that recommendation, which then in turn is making them feel like they aren't doing enough or that their original plan isn't good enough. And I just wanna put everyone at ease and kind of walk us through what this change and update is and the recommendation that they have made um, as of June, 2022. So let's chat about where it was. The recommendation was exclusive breastfeeding for at least six months before the introductions of complementary foods. That's my dog ringing a bell. <laughs> um, and then extending that breast milk feeding until one year or longer as mutually desired. The World Health Organization has always said exclusive breastfeeding for at least six months upon the introduction of complementary foods and then as least until two years of age. So what happened in 2022 is that the American Academy of Pediatrics aligned their recommendations with the World Health Organization. So now the American Academy of Pediatrics statement says, exclusive breastfeeding for at least six months after the introduction of complementary foods, the support of breastfeeding for at least two years or longer as mutually desired by the mother and the baby. So let me break that down for you. This does not mean that if your goal was breastfeeding, breast milk feeding, pumping, to make it to the year mark, and now you hear this American Academy of Pediatrics recommendation that you are going to do something that isn't gonna be good enough for your baby, or that is insufficient, or whatever might be spiraling into your brain, okay? This means that the American Academy of Pediatrics supports toddler breastfeeding. That's why it was such a big deal. So for years, decades, People who have extended breastfeeding beyond that first year have gotten a lot of flack for it. It's hard to feel supported breastfeeding a toddler, breastfeeding into that um, second year of life, third year of life, into preschoolhood, without there being a professional organization that kind of like just tucks you in and makes you feel like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm doing the right thing. If people give me a hard time, then I can say the AAP or the WHO supports this. Um, it can stop grandparents in their tracks. It can stop friends that aren't behaving like friends that tell you that stuff, um, family members. So by the American Academy of Pediatrics changing their statement, to more closely align with the World Health Organization, the support of breastfeeding until two years of age or longer, it's given people who have goals to go beyond one the support they need, the backing that they need. It doesn't mean that if your goal was or is three months, six months, one year, that now since the recommendation has come out, you had better pump at work until the baby is two years old, um, that you had better breastfeed until two. Let's just remember that myself as a lactation consultant, um, all other professionals out there are here to support you. And the evidence is very clear that the longer exposure to breast milk, whether that be directly breastfeeding or breast milk feeding, the more protection the baby has. The science is there. So this is the American Academy of Pediatrics making a big change by saying, hey, we're gonna make this change in our language of the statement to support the evidence and the research out there so that people who do go beyond a year have our support. Um, I keep saying support way too many times, um, but that's what it's about. So. 
I've had an influx of clients over the last six months since that change has happened that have expressed to me that they had plans to breastfeed for a year and start weaning off of pumping and slowly stop breastfeeding, maybe until 18 months, 14 months, you know, whatever, plug in any amount of time there. And that now that that recommendation came out, they feel like they have to keep going, even though they don't want to, and they feel bad about that. So then my job working with them is to help them come to peace with what they really want, what's gonna make them um, feel successful in their journey and still be recognized that they did a great job um, and in line with the American Academy of Pediatrics and the World Health Organization. So it's not new pressure, it's not new expectations, um, expectations, let me say that right. Um, it's just change of language that was already there, they used to say until one year or longer as desired by mother and baby. So now they're just saying until two. It's just a step forward in supporting toddler breastfeeding, which is a big deal, but it doesn't mean it's right for everybody. So I hope that helps um, dispel some of the confusion that's come around or some of the um, just kind of poor feelings about it. So we all are in a good place. It all comes from love. We're not trying to make anyone feel poorly about the decision that they've made in feeding their baby. Um, many of you who've been a part of my YouTube channel know that about me. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I will see you guys another time. Bye.